Why, hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I am your host and guide, Zolid Iron Shield, as always, my friends. And we're going to continue our series here today, playing the solo with our Voice of the Rings character here on our World Sandbox Solo Campaign. Alright, I hope you're all having a great and wonderful day in Middle Earth. I'm excited to play some Return to Moria. It'll be a blast. Don't forget to throw a like, subscribe, and if you really want to go above and beyond, maybe even a comment and share the video. That'd be great. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay, so continuing on here through the Moria Mines is we're trying to get our tech tree up, right? Okay, so we're pretty much right at the beginning. I started a brand new sandbox world that I would do just solo by myself. I have certain settings on right now. Here are my difficulty settings I have on right now. Pretty much it's quite default with low on the siege frequency and stuff, just because I kind of want to be able to focus on building up my base right now. Later, when we're slightly stronger, I might bump those up to make it a little more difficult, a little bit more maybe uh, fun to do some battles later on, because uh, I do love the combat in this game. So, and we've got new weapons and all that jazz. So anyway, oh, we got the wonderful music going on. Let me just double check my audio here. Music's all the way up, sound effects. Uh, that's about right. Oh, that's where I want it. Okay, we're good. Oh, here we go. Here we go, my friends. All right, so where we left off is I was trying to finish my crafting tiers here. Um, I need to get bronze going, um, which means I need to find tin. So we really just need to explore. Um, we also need to get the elven quarters, which we have found. I need to find hides and elven wood. And I need some bring some iron with me so I can make a repair anvil. Okay, so I have enough iron to make a repair anvil. I have the repairing... Um, stuff i can't craft yet a higher tier pickaxe but i do have a regular axe that's good um we're also going to need to craft a new backpack when we can when we get to that point so what we're going to do is i'm going to try my best in this episode today is to really focus on the goal here we're going to try to get the materials to upgrade the next level of stuff all right see how much we can do in this episode so i'm going to bring stone with me i'm going to bring wood with me i will not worry about i need some metal fragments to repair so i'll keep those with me slightly um and i'll just keep one since i have a repairing thing with me so that should be all we need we'll need some food for the road we're gonna have to just carry some of these um mushrooms with us because that's all we got right now um and we'll keep the metals with us so there we go i think that's we're pretty much set there um good all right so now that we're all set it is morning in the game so let's eat our food and off we go let's uh adventure on in the moria mines this is such a good game <laughs> i just can't even it's such a good game this is such a good job so technically the only thing is that i don't want to get sidetracked is i kind of wanted to get those two carvings which i think we'll find around here anyway so we will explore a few things on the way. Well, we're going to go into the elven area, try to get elven wooden hides, and we're going to try to find, I believe, tin is what will give us the opening into doing um, the bronze. All right. So just a quick little looky in here. Make sure I didn't miss anything in here. Like, again, those statues, the Muznikon. I need to find uh, two for Ori's line. So again, I will, through this series, as I play, explain things to an extent. But again, some most of you that are watching this probably have played the game already yourself. But if you haven't, leave a comment. I'm curious, what would you guys want to know for guides? You got anything specific on mine? Because I, I do plan to make more guide videos for this game. So um, just leave leave some comments, give some ideas. If you're a longtime player and you just having a good idea for a guide, or one of my usual subscribers, leave a comment. I I read all I pretty much read all my comments, so I do my best to keep up with those. All right, so here's the Elven workshops. All right, let me go ahead and build this real quick. Nice. All right, we're getting closer to having the spike town. I'm not going to pick up these cabbages, even though they're technically good for crafting. I will take these apples right now. And actually, I think I will pick that. Oh, wait, what's that right here? Is that a piece of meat? A yeah, piece of meat, okay. Also, look at that. It's pretty good animation. Maybe not quite as beautiful looking as Lotro, but uh, definitely the animation is better in my mind. All right, take some Alu Blooms. Alu the Smith. And it's the god who created the dwarves, right? You guys remember the story? 
and uh, Iluvatar told him, why did you create those without telling me? And then Alu was going to kill the dwarf creations, but they technically didn't have souls yet. But Iluvatar was like, no, no, you don't kill your creation. You didn't do it out of evil. I'll put them to sleep. I'll give them souls and they will just not wake before my children. So in theory, their, their physical forms were created before the elves. But um, I think that's a neat story. There's some parallels there on certain things too. Um, so I think we're good in here. So let's go through this tunnel here. Bum, bum. All right, I'm gonna do my best guys to keep focused on our goal here. I'm looking for elven wood, hides, and tin. That's what we want. If we can find Muznikon on the way, sweet. And then we're going to upgrade our base. Uh, I wonder if any of these are tin. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, I guess I can leave my torch on here. All right, sweet. I need I need that shield. I don't have a shield yet. So here's a bunch of coal. I'm actually going to get a little of the coal. I know it's slightly sidetracked getting coal, but I want a little bit just because um, I need to be able to do my furnaces. And I like to hear a song. This is like all going to break at once. Yeah. The forge is fire, a hungry choir. Pour oh. over heart till days and... Where, hey, when the fuel runs low, hail in my hand by the hearth. Hail in my hand by the hearth. All right, sweet. I can't really take too much because it's going to take up all my inventory space, I just realized. So we're just going to take a stack of 30, and I'm going to leave the other spots for now. Um, I don't even carry the apples right now. We'll, we'll see. Hold aside. Um, let's go ahead and look for our other resources we're looking for now. All right. Oh, I love these new... This is a new thing in the sandbox mode. They made just these big, giant areas of dirt. Oh, also, we're going to totally, like, surprise attack these guys. Oh, never mind. He's going to surprise me. <laughs> La calma, you. La calma, <laughs> So my character speaks pretty much fully in Dwarven, except for some of the songs. Yeah, I don't have a... So I have to block with the axe, which hurts it. I definitely want to get my shield. They're uh, pretty high. They're still on pretty good difficulty on being strong, the creatures. All right. Um, he had some hides, which is good. Let's see. We need to go out. Which way do I need to go out here? Um, I want to stay in the elven areas, which I believe this is to green. So we'll go out over here. La, la, dee. That's a pretty cool sound effect. All right. Gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Look how cool it looks. All right. So technically we can dig down in these locations. Can I dig through the rock though? I think. I uh, can, sweet, with this pickaxe. So technically you can dig underneath these areas, which is really cool. And I'm curious if there's tin under here. I'm actually, you know what, now that I think about it, I'm not sure tin is in the elven areas. I may have to go find the stairs. So in the new sandbox mode, there's these stairs. The first stair, the second stair, the fourth, and everything. So uh, I think we found bedrock here. Okay, this is the bottom. So now, look at this wolf just eyeing me. Hello there. So I could dig down underneath here. Ah, oh, that's coal. Okay. This is cool. All right. Uh, nothing there. That, that looks like cool too. More coal. We're just going to dig by it. Wanted to find ten, but I, I'm I'm thinking now they're making more coal. Oh my gosh, there's so much coal down here. Oh look at this place. Wow, cool. Look at the cool glowing mushroom. Kind of cool. That's a big thing or coal. Wow, well, we're definitely not going to run out of coal anytime soon. Well, I think I'm going to dig back up to the surface. I believe I can dig up from here. I 
Oh, there's a way for me to get out of here. Is there a way? Yep, yep. Okay. I was right. Haha! -ha! I did it! I dug myself out! <laughs> that was cool. Alright, uh... I have a very good sense of direction as a dwarf. You know, dwarves naturally just know how deep they are and stuff in the ground. Alright, let's see here. What was that? What was that? I'll repair the statue real quick. Alright, Iron Hill's armor. We have no armor, so that's good. I need to kill these wolves. They will drop hides. This is going to be a hard fight, actually. Because I think those other guys are on me, too. The goblin men from Isengard. Never mind. These guys give regular hides. Not. I need the... Oh, gosh. I'm getting shot out by arrows. That's not good. Oh, out of energy. Oh, gosh, I got an arrow in my arm. Not ideal. That's all you got? That's all you got? Oh, dude, I owned him. Yes, victory. Oh, look at this. We found the forge, and I have an arrow in my arm. Don't worry, it despawns. Wow, look at how glorious that looks in the background right there. Screenshot! <laughs> Who knows, maybe it would pick that as a... See, I usually have my special thumbnail for the episodes, but um, sometimes I'm tempted to like get a thumbnail like this. Um, I forget, is there a way we can, uh, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I didn't know I could do that, that's kind of cool. I'm gonna, like, minimize the game. Missing string table entry. Oh, interesting, that was, I guess that's for entering codes. Wow, look at this place. Well, heck yeah, why, why don't we just get the forge going? We're gonna get attacked, though, if we do that. Um, why not, you know, instead of that, let's put down a teleporter to get here. Let's go ahead and do this for Narvi's forge. All right, so let's just edit this to be uh, Narvi Forge. <laughs> I got this. Forge. Did I get that? Did I? Yes, Forge. Narvi. I, I did it right. Narvi Forge. Yes. All right, we're good. Always, like, forget if it's just a DE on the end or not. All right. Quiet. I see prey ahead. Yes. So these guys actually, I don't have a bow yet, but if I can sneak up on these and get them. So this is one update that I would like. I would like it if you go over these um, brazers, if the first thing that it would pick is wood instead of coal in your inventory to put in. I think that would just be a nice addition, or you could just change it. That'd be a nice little update. Not really the end of the world, but. I got it, heck yeah, there's the hide I need. So let's go ahead and drop these cloths, which I, well, I don't have many cloths, but I'll get so many cloths over time. I'm not really, oh, the stone, I'll just, there we go. You know, it was double stacked there. All right, so here's one of the gears. So let's pick this good baby up. Ugh, I'm such a strong dwarf. Gosh, could you imagine this gear is probably like at least my weight. What's going on with my hair? It's like going into my neck. All right, and place gear. Nice. All right. Gosh, they did some updates on it. It looks nicer than it did with visuals. Gosh, so fast, man. All right, we'll take this gear. Put it here. This is not sidetrack, guys. This is part of the story. I have to do this. <laughs> now the lighting all the the brazers that that may be sidetracked a little bit got it sweet all right got some hides that i need here's the other one you can also throw these which is a nice little thing you could throw it to your buddies or just throw it and run to it because it's way faster because apparently we're super strong dwarves. We can just throw things like Superman. Yeah. Alright, let's just go around. <laughs> That's going to be a little too tricky to get up. 
All right, walking up. Walk, wow, look at those look at those walls. Everything in this game looks so good. Oh, more of those deer came in. Must be my lucky day. Before it rolls down and put that in. All right, here we go. Here we go. The Great Forge. Is that bad? I think it's about the best visual I can give you right there. Oh, here we go. Igniting the Great Forge. Sweet. Ah, oh, yes, this is a flame. All oh, that heat just likes to singe my beard. I love it. All right, let's see here. There we go. All right, so we have new recipes. We can make the last alliance mace, Regian spear, Regian spear, elven arrows, shield wall, and the Zartuk torch, which I would like to get. That would be nice. And we're being attacked by a horde, so I should probably eat some food real quick. Heal up. They're just goblins. Goblin men and goblins. We can deal with them. Dude, he just shot his buddy in the back. Did you see that? That goblin just shot the goblin man in the back. Yeah, the, the arrows I'm gonna have to watch out for. He just killed his own guy! Did you see that? He just shot and killed the own Dude, they have friendly fire on. That's funny. Oh, oh, arrows! Yeah, shoot your buddies. It'll be great. He just killed him. Did you see that? Oh, man. <laughs> Dafu Tefu. It's one more for me. Come here. I'm not afraid of you guys. Well, except I'm one hit for death, so maybe I'm a little bit scared now. But there was a lot of damage. Oh, I can't take one hit right now. I'll die. Or an arrow, for that matter. His buddy just shot him again with an arrow and killed him. That's so funny, dude. Gosh, it's a lot of orcs. This is actually much harder than I was expecting. <laughs> I've tricked him up. Oh, oh, I just took an arrow to the chest, man. Oh. He's mocking me. Look at this goblin mock me. He's like, <laughs> I killed you. It was me. I shot you with this arrow. Too bad it was just a flesh wound and I'm alive. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Arrow's still in my freaking... Oh, gosh. It's like in my it's like in my chest right here. Oh, gosh. Don't worry, guys. I'm fine. I promise. It'll go away. It's only a flesh wound. Well, the good news is they stopped the attacks, so... I shall absorb all of my stuff here. Actually, I'm gonna drop these for a second because uh, I wanna pick this up so it puts everything in the right place. All right, I'll have to bring this back to my base real quick. First breakfast being my first base. All right, I think we're gonna, instead of saying first, second base, I thought about it from last episode. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with first breakfast, second breakfast, third breakfast, and just go all down the list. We might get to like 20th breakfast for all we know. Who knows? It's a, it's gonna be a meme, and we're gonna we're gonna like it. <laughs> all right, let's see here. Deposit, 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 uh, deposit. I need the rest of those with me. I need some of these with me to repair stuff. We'll go ahead and do a quick little repair here. Um. Let's go ahead and make us some delicious mushroom. Uh, let's do meat stew. And uh, we'll go ahead and sleep. Oh, you know what? I need to add some doors real quick. I can add doors, right? We sure can. Okay. I love the new icons they did. They did such a good job on that.
There we go. I put some basic wood doors on. Not terrible. Sleepy time. Do drums in the deep. All right, so now that it's daytime again, we will teleport back to our lovely location of uh, Narvi's Forge and continue our adventure. We've got some hides. We fixed Narvi's Forge. So now I want to continue what we're doing. Oh, there's some more hides over here. I'm going to go ahead and just absorb all that real quick. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so now we'll continue on this way. We need to get, we need to find one of the staircases. Uh, the staircases are usually in spots that are not too hard to find. Um, so it should be reasonable. What is this to get through? This is rock. Can I get through this? I can. Oh, iron ore. Some more iron ore, heck yeah. We have enough right now of iron ore though. The steel will roll or glowing call. Oh, that's a bear. Let's not fight the bear. Hey, when the embers cool, hey, in my hand by the hearth. Mr. Bear, go away. My hand by the hearth. Trying to sing songs here and rebuild statues, Mr. Bear. Leave me alone. Oh, maybe he won't see me if I hide behind this. being sneaky we're hiding from the bear they'll never see us they must have an aggro range like lord of the rings online if you hide behind something they can't see you must be right that was kind of interesting i didn't know you could do that oh we learned something new in this game oh, got one of them all right oh there's one of the oh sweet there's the last two. Oh, these are for no these are for narvi oh these are for narvi these are not for um, um Ori's line. Okay, well. I want to get that other one. That's iron ore again. There's another tunnel that way. Let's go ahead and grab both of these because it's kind of important. Okay, what's up here? That's cool. I want to check that real quick. Try not to get sidetracked, but... Okay, iron ore. Anything of use that we can... Ah, that's cool. This is really... This is actually one of my favorite... Elven areas. I love how it's generated. It looks so cool. Oh, look, there's another. Um, I need that. But that's three. I think we need like five, right? To f fix up the original. Fix up his line. All right. Well, now that we have all those, back down we go. Um, let's go through that door right there first. Uh, oh, yeah. Got it. <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> Just barely. Elven wood. Can I cut these down with my axe I have here? Pretty sure this gives us elven wood, elven wood so we're going to cut these down real quick. That was one of the things we needed, right? Come on, give me the wood. Oh. Is it faster to use my pickaxe? It's about the same. It's probably better with the axe. All right, heck yeah. We got our elven wood. Yeah, I think the charge up on the axe does more damage since it's higher level. Okay. La dee da dee da dee dee da da dee dee dee. I just thought, man, that was a. I think I just singing one of the tavern songs from World of Warcraft. It just came in my head. It sounds very similar, actually, now that I think about it, to the songs we're listening to this. In this game. Um, if I break these, do they... Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I didn't know you guys lived here. My bad. It's like, how dare you break our furniture, you dwarven stinker. Oh, wow. <laughs> Killed the thing with the arrow. Oh, he shot me with the arrow right in the freaking chest again.
Got him. All right. All right, give me that key. Give me that orcish key. Sweet. All stuff very good for me. Ooh, some seeds. Uh, we don't need these. We don't really need seeds yet, so I'm not gonna take those. That seems like a waste of my time um, to carry. All right, let's cut down a little bit more oven wood because I needed like eight, I think. Right? I'll, I'll get there sooner or later. By the way, just for everyone watching this, this is my series, so it's supposed to be kind of like more timeless. But occasionally, I'll do streams where. Uh, I'll hang out with everybody and have other people join me for my kinship and stuff. And uh, uh, people, subscribers, and patrons to play this Return of Moria. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to be capped up on that even better detail, join our Discord. Go to voiceoftherings.com down there. Go to my social media tab, and boom, you can join Discord. Hide scraps. Do I want those or anything here? Yeah, I'm going to drop the iron ore and take the hide scraps. Because I'll need those for crafting. I'm going to try to get some more... Uh, Elven wood here real quick. I'd like a good little chunk of elven wood so I don't have to come back like soon. Let's see, how are we doing? We have 10 elven wood. That's, that's okay. I prefer to have like 20, but we'll just get this last tree here. I love the lighting right here. The lighting is just perfect in this spot. In, ma in fact, it really makes me want to make a base right here. Like, in, these spot in this little mid spot. It just... I don't know. It's just really nice how it is. And you got these little spots you could like have things, a little bedroom or whatever. You make it all fancy. Last tree. All right. Through the wall. I really need a better pickaxe. I want to be able to craft a really good pickaxe that you can like craft a bit. A big area. All right, there we go. Not let him see us. We'll just run through real quick. What's over here? All right, there's actually okay. Durin's Highway. This is actually part of the quest, so I think we'll actually run down this for a second. Um. Get. Well, I mean, it's sort of part of the chapter. We're in sandbox mode, so it doesn't really matter quite as much. We can't do compactor yet. Okay. We need the better pickaxe. So that's as far as we can go that way. We've hit our limit there. Is this also compactor? It does look slightly different, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. That's why it's red X. We can't do that one yet. We have to have the next tier of pickaxe. I'm going to cut this tree down real quick just so we have a little bit more elven wood. I will say, man, turning down that um, the food reduction, like making it where you don't need to eat as often, is kind of nice. I, I gotta say. Like, I love the survival aspect of the game, and if you're going to play this really hardcore mode, I, I totally get it. Like, I'll probably turn it up later. But for now, while well, I'm just be getting so low, I'd prefer to just play and level up. Oh, there's... Over there. Nothing's over here. There's nothing happening. You can ignore me. The wolf's like, there he is! <laughs> Got him. Got him. Quiet. I see prey ahead. Oh, there's a statue. Got it. Okay. So there's another way we can go. Let's go see what's over here. 
All right, don't let those guys see me. Run over here. The only thing the sandbox is kind of sad is I don't know if they give you the big elven area like you like you get in the story mode at that huge room. So, but I mean, you could play the regular story mode to get the huge room, I guess. So it's not the end of the world. So there is specialties to playing both game modes, I guess is what I'm saying. All right, so is this his? Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. How are we doing on the elven wood? Okay, we almost have 30 elven wood. That's a lot better, so we should be set for a while here. Give me my wood. So if we wait for it to charge with that little shing sound, it does a lot more damage. All right. We got a uh, 32 wood. I'm happy with that. I'll stop doing trees. Let's continue on looking for tin and we'll go deposit what we have here of the uh, stuff. Something's over there. Shh, nothing's over here. Uh-oh, he knows I'm here. Aha, oh, interesting. This is where it is. Your torch has gone out. Oh, too bad the guy's already dead. Okay. Muznikar. We found Narvi. All right. Place. Oh. We only need four. How many do we have? We have four. Oh, sweet. Place carvings. We're done. That was very, very easy. I love it. All right. So I'll go ahead and take all this. Sweet. Sweet. We got some bonuses. So it gave us some iron, um, which opened up some new crafting potentials here for us. We can now do... Of course, we already have the workbench because we got the elven wood. Um, but it also opened up for us, uh, I guess, though. What, do we get anything else yet? It's some crafting items in the forge is what it opened up. So we have to go to our actual forge at home to craft it. So sweet. I don't even have to come back here. That's fantastic. I love that they mark those on the map now. So we could go this way. Also, we easily go back that way to our house. So, let's open up this wall. So I haven't done it yet. I like how they did the elven quarters. That's kind of cool. The little like loop around with the, the forge in the center. I'm not sure if it always does it like that, but okay. So we were here, we repaired that. So I'm actually gonna go the other way now. That is a floating cabbage patch. My cabbages, they're floating. Get him, lads. <laughs> Get him, lads. Nope, not today, lad. You lost. Okay. Out of my way, goblin. All right, so we, went, we still need to look for a couple more statues of Ori. You'll never catch me. I'm too fast of a dwarfy. He's like, he jumped off the balcony. Um, grabbing some mushrooms for our stew. Uh, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. Yeah, I don't even know where that got. Where did that dwarf go? I have no idea. <laughs> Where did he go? Let's see here. Um, any statues? No. No, don't repair it. If you're repairing something, you don't want to be repairing it. Just use your control roll. It cancels it. Just throwing that out there for everybody. Um, it's very helpful. Mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms. Lots of mushrooms. Get all the mushrooms. All right, so we will go back through this wall to get back to our camp. And then uh, we'll check our crafting stuff. We'll make our crafting table. Hopefully, I can make the better backpack now. We'll see if I have enough hides and stuff. I'm hoping we do. 
fact, just just for you know caution, I might slay these this this wolf right here in this thing. I like how it shot at the tip of the target. Give us a little bit more meat too there. All right, out of my way, creature. Got it. Okay. Look at us flying through the game. All right, so let's get back. I've already explored these areas. So what I need for this one is I need two more. I believe I know where the last two are from last episode. If you remember, I kind of passed them up. So normally you'd make your base in there, right? But I decided I'd make my base in this little house. I'm kind of glad of my choice. Happy with my choice, I should say. All right, sweet. So we have some new crafting stuff. Um, so I can now craft a steel pickaxe because it gave me steel. So I will craft that right now. I also have craft the next level hammer, which will take, oh, look at my, my character's all happy because he crafted. That's kind of cool. Wait, I'm going to go away here. Watch when he crafts this. I like, I love that new sound effect that it does. That's pretty cool. All right, so go ahead and deposit that and deposit there. And I'll take that new pickaxe. Beautiful, we have a new iron pickaxe. Or is it steel pickaxe? Steel pickaxe. The other one I believe was called iron, wasn't it? Um, there we go. We'll keep those with us. Yeah, this is simple pickaxe, all right. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, wait, what's the new one? Iron steel. Uh, the iron one is the worst one in this case. The steel is the better of the one we just crafted, correct? Yes. All right, so, and technically, um, I need to learn more to get this armor. I need to go build, fix more statues. So what we need to do is we need to take our wood fragments. It's early evening in the game. So we'll go ahead and here, craft a little bit more iron if we can. Uh, meat stew, make one of those, repair our stuff real quick. And was there any new thing we could build? I'm trying to remember. Um, the table, right? The crafting table? Yeah, we were gonna make this. So let's go ahead and make our little workbench. We'll put it, I think we'll put it like right here. Um, actually, you know what, we'll put it right here. We'll make it real simple. Can I put it up here and use it? That'd be funny. Can I do it? That's, yes, that's awesome. All right, so I can make a bow and some arrows, which I could definitely do. What I really want, yeah, see, I'm out of, I don't have the hides yet. I don't think I can make the loom yet, can I? No, it doesn't look like it. So I need to hunt more hides, which means I also need to probably make the bow because it'll help us be able to get kills on those things easier. So I'll make a bow um, and I'll go ahead and make, I can make elven arrows later, but I'll go ahead and make regular simple arrows. There we go. I think uh, 120 should be good. Um, oh, I can only have 100 in my inventory. So why don't we do... Um, yes. We will put these here and this here. There we go. All right. Good. That's all we want in our inventory right now. And let's go ahead and sleep. Sleep. And then we're going to eat our food. And then we're going to go get those two statues back and repair any of the statues I missed with the beginning of the game. And then we're going to need to do some more hunting for um, hides to get the next crafting stuff ready. So we're doing pretty good. Oh, look at that. There's one right there. I must have missed it when I first walked by. I love that they added that glow effect. It's fantastic. All right. You know what I don't have? I don't have a torch. I just realized. Go ahead and craft that real quick. Put that in four. We'll do that. There we go. Move my items around a little bit. Okay. Arch archery ready. Archer ready. I look just like Feely. <laughs> no, Keely. Keely is the one that uses the bow in the in the Hobbit trilogy. And yes, dwarves are very good with bows and crossbows. A lot of people are always, that's an elf thing. It's like, no, dwarves are very proficient with them as well. They're the ones that invent a lot of cool things. I personally loved, 
in the Hobbit movies when Dane, when they era, when they do fight, even though in the books they never did fight, right? The Hobbits and I mean, sorry, in the Hobbit, the elves and dwarves and humans never came to actual blows, from what I remember, like they did in the Hobbit movies. Oh, look at that, we're done. We got the two we needed. Uh, but I still want to look for more statues to repair, so we're gonna do that real quick. Oh my gosh, there's another one. We got extras. Um, but I love those. Uh, we can make the shield now. Awesome. The twirly whirlies, as Dane calls them. The things that like shoot and cut all the arrows out of the air. That is totally something dwarves would do. Like they are like the adventures, right? Like and the and the craftsmen of Middle Earth to make something like that. That was really cool that they make this like device that would shoot into the enemy line with a ballista, and then not only that, it would just like cut out the cut their arrows out of the air. That was I love that so much, and I know there's some people that who probably didn't like that, and I, I I understand their point of view why they didn't like it. I get it. Um, but for me, it was like. It's like one of my favorite things. So just always remember, if you're someone that doesn't like something, someone else might have really enjoyed it, right? So that's you always have to remember. All right. And then there's the occasional thing like the love triangle that pretty much most people don't like. But I do know I've had a few friends that they liked it. They're like, oh, it's so cute. I'm like, okay, all right. I wasn't the hugest fan of the love triangle thing in The Hobbit. All right. Um... I don't think Peter Jackson was either. I think he was kind of forced to put it in there. But from what I've heard in reading things. All right, I'm looking for repairing of statues right now. All right. This is, man, this game looks so cool. Just walking around in Moria, it's so vast. It, they, they caught the essence of, like, what Lord of the Rings Online does good with. With, like, exploring the world and walking around. And yet they did it in a way that's not quite as massively, like, frustrating for us, right, as players. It's reasonable distances, but still feels big. Even though in the lore, Moria would be 10 times what we're doing right now in this game, in size. I mean, it takes three days to cross at a normal walking pace. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and build this and sing the song, and we're gonna enjoy this thoroughly, ready? All right, here we go. Dawn has broken, and Are you flipping kidding me, goblin? Are you flipping kidding me? Come here. How freaking dare thee. How dare thee interrupt my favorite theme song of the game. All right, let me do it again. Okay, here we go. the rainbow effect around that that's so ah, cool till Durin wakes from sleep die cuz Durin come here rat I need your meat for delicious soups got him okay so let's just run through here there we go here's the statues I was looking for all right so we have all the things we need so We'll go to the front here. We'll teleport back with our front location to the base. That'll make it real quick. But I just need to double check. I didn't miss any other statues. Do a little run around here. Let's 
guy took three arrows to the body. It's pretty impressive. All right, that was pretty impressive indeed. That goblin had a lot of stamina. Okay, so one thing I just realized, if there's no statues here, then we actually never explored this one side and for my exploring this side, um, I have to do it. So we're gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna, oh, actually, apparently I went here, but um, see these two spots on uh, the connections up there on the radar, I never did. Aha, there we go. There we go, we're closer to the gloves. All right, so we'll connect this spot and check this, and then we'll come back and do that last spot, and we'll go back to the teleporter. Okay, so there's a wall there, nothing here, and there connects to that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that Ori carving there, and that one, wow, we have way too many now. There's a lot of Ori carvings. Um, and we're gonna go explore that last spot. I'm not gonna worry about cutting that wall out one wall open we'll get there when we pass by it someday we just have the connections known now so that's what matters aha there we go i need that we're doing it guys we're flying through the tech tree here all right i'm looking for dwarven statues dwarven statues fine craftsmanship who knows that line what's that line from i mean it's obviously a dwarf but what video game? Fine craftsmanship. Dwarven craftsmanship. Ready to whoop! <laughs> it's the, the workers from Battle for Middle Earth. I believe it's Battle for Middle Earth 2. Um, the Dwarven workers. I just, the voice actor is awesome. He just makes it just, I enjoy it every time listening to it. Um. Cranberries. I actually want these. I will take these. Aha, a statue to repair. I'll take that too. We should be getting close to finishing. There we go. Now we can make the spiked helmet. We can make the shield. We can armor up. Armor our dwarven self up a little bit. All right, let's uh, ooh, let's just check what this is. Some kind of deposit. What kind is it? Is it iron ore? What is it? Oh wow, how far does this go in? Is there anything? In it? Wait, is it just stone? Oh my gosh, there's nothing in it. It's just stone. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever run into a deposit that doesn't have anything in it. Is that supposed to be a thing? It's kind of cool, I guess, but. Wow, this is a long hallway. Let's check around the side here for dwarven statues. Aha, look at that, a dwarven statue. Would have never guessed it. <laughs> Got it, all right, so we can make our level one iron armor. Fantastic, here's more coal, which I don't think we need. What we might need is more iron for the basic iron armor. All right, and by the way, I'm trying to make these episodes for Locher Tail when I do them just solo like this recording, uh, fun videos. I make them as high quality visually as I can. Um, I, I mean, I might be able to bump it up more, but visually within reason, because I might be able to get a tiny bit more visual quality out of it, but then it's like, it doubles the file size. So the video already gets really, really big. Um, <laughs> when I record it this high definition in 2K. But, and I keep copies of all of my files, obviously. Uh, Ooh, he, he got me in the head, I should focus. Okay, there we go. I keep it, I'm trying to keep these videos about an hour, uh, 45 minutes to an hour. That's my goal. Look at this beautiful coal deposit that I can just jump up. Oh man, it's just so cool. I can mine all this if I wanted to. It's glorious. Just checking if there's any statues down there. There is not, so we'll continue on. Whoop, and that's actually because I, you guys voted for the times. So, the reason I don't go longer than that is like, I could, in theory, if you know, if I recorded for an hour, I could make two episodes that are about 30 minutes. But I think most people say they enjoy watching *Marjorie* more. It's like 45 minutes to an hour. 
you know, at the, at the shortest, I might make it 35 minutes for something of episode if I had to cut it short. But realistically, I try to always aim for that if I have the time to record. And of course, I'm just having fun playing. And if you noticed in the previous episode, I didn't have my camera on. Today, I had my camera on because I had everything set up for recording. So we did it. Um, there will be times that I just want to make you guys a video because I'm playing the game. And I want to play my solo campaign solo. And I don't want you guys to miss out on too much. I mean, play... There may be times I play this campaign slightly solo, you know, where I might not make a video or a stream with it. But most of the time, I'll be trying to record whether it's with my camera or without, just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Because I know a lot of you just are like, oh, I just like watching you mine, which I appreciate. But I also try to make it where it's entertaining and informative with information for you guys that need it, that kind of thing. All right, dig through here real quick. Is there anything in this or is this just also rock? What are these weird deposits that don't have anything? Ah, nope, there's iron ore back here in the back. Maybe there was iron ore at the other one at the back. I should have just dug deeper. Dug a little greedy, a little more greedy, a little deeper. We shape the halls till evening calls. Pour over hard till days and away when that His tool mouth. grows dull. Nail in my hand by the hearth. Nail in my hand by the hearth. Why doesn't he sing it again? You're supposed to sing it again, man. All right, there we go. Well, I got my iron. All right, and now, what is that? It's a pretty looking pot. Break it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys are like, no, why would you do that? <laughs> ah, there we go. There's one statue left and a hunting prey. I thought there'd be one more back here. I had a feeling. All right, well, we're on our way to making the gatherer's hat. Psst, quiet. I see prey ahead. Oh man, this bow is pretty on it. Pretty not accurate there. Unaccurate, as I was gonna say, but, oh, got him. That was a pretty good shot though. All right, so I think I'm done, except for the one that hit the wall. Did he not give me a hide? Oh, he did. I just didn't pick it up. Oh, no. Hold on. I need that. There we go. Sweet. Need those, latte. All right. So I believe I have repaired all the statues on this side. In theory, I could come back here later, but I think we'll probably find enough to finish all. There's usually enough statues that if you miss one or two, you've got them all. Like, you'll get all the recipes you need still. So... Yeah, so we're gonna head back to the front here. I do like the bow though, it is very handy for hunting. I think that's the biggest use for the bow. I think in combat with orcs, the bow is like, eh, right? And then of course, no spoilers, but you need the crossbow to beat the, the watcher in the water um, as a mechanic. But I think when it comes to hunting in this game, that's what the bow is good for. And the crossbow later, the crossbow is a little bit more accurate. But the bow is a little bit easier because you don't have to like reload it, it doesn't take as long. Which is kind of realistic, right? That's kind of how it works in the actuality. Um, did I check this room to see if I had any other statues I didn't... Oh. Oh. I did not... I forgot you could do that. You can uh, hold right click to aim your bow. What? Wait, is this a mechanic that's always been in the game? Did I just forget about this? Did I? I think I learned about that a long time ago, didn't I? I didn't know you could hold right click and get an aim with your cross, your bow. That makes the bow far more useful. I, I think it's been in the game for a while. I think I just didn't know. Myself. I might have forgot. I feel like I probably figured that out a long time ago already and just forgot. <laughs> Whoops. All right, we definitely came from that direction. So back we go. We're just going to double check the front spot and we will teleport out with the teleport zone at the beginning to our base. The night, one nice thing about solo, I will say, is that we quickly, I can quickly go to sleep and reset the day. That's the only thing in this game if you're playing with other friends, like, because it's kind of hard to, like, balance when you guys all want to go to sleep. So I think if I do streams in the future, I'm going to be like, all right, guys. Four minutes, we're all going back to the beds. Be there. <laughs> no matter where you are in the, in the Moria. So I think we'll be a little bit more um, in a kind way, but we'll, we'll keep that a little bit more strict. 
because it'll definitely help us all as players because I think sleeping and stuff and you know someone could be in charge of always having the, the food ready and the ale ready before bed kind of thing in the game It'd be kind of fun so we can have that job kind of stuff I know that Jethro always did that for us in Valheim he was like the cook <laughs> on his little side note there all right well here is the very front of the game, and there is the teleporter, which we're going to use to go back to our base right now. And real quick, we will turn in, so for, back to first breakfast. First base. And then real quick, I'm going to go ahead and start cooking some mushroom. Oh, no, no, stuffed mushrooms. They're really good. They give some bonuses. We're going to turn in these statues we found at the thing and get our recipes. Right here. I have six, and I only needed two so there we go all right open up and take we got the new heirloom shield and the trapper's hood it also gave me some other stuff which i would like to get so i'm actually going to drop it on the ground so i don't forget it's there and i will come back for it Ooh, doo -doo -doo. let me empty my inventory I, I can i craft my backpack now i really like the bigger backpack that's something that's going to be become very frustrating for us sooner or later let me just double check I need two more. Darn it. Darn it, lattice. I love that music. Alright, so we need to get two more hides and we need to get ten. Um, I think what we're going to have to do, my friends, is that's going to have to be in the next episode. Gosh, we got a lot done in this episode. A lot. So we got our we got our table done. We got a bunch of stuff we mined. We explored all of the Elven Halls. We're going to need to now go into the Orc area. But um, I think I have most of my things I can craft now. Let's go ahead and see. Let's see. I can craft my chest piece. So I'll do that real quick. And then this... And technically I need to find a few more things to be able to do this, but I can also craft myself a shield. And I think I'm going to go with the Iron Hill shield there. Oh, well, actually the heirloom is technically tier two, which means it might be sturdier. So I'll actually, I'll craft that, but I'm also going to craft myself the Iron Spear since it's a tier one like my axe. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and equip what we got here. We're going to start looking a little bit more like a dwarf. All right, so we'll do this. There we go. Boom. Heck yeah. We're looking like a warrior now. All right, so, and then, um, let's see. Normally, what I forget, I forget which one I put it on. Um, I want to have my spear on like that, and then we'll put that on six, five, four. I think that's probably a good setup. All right, there we go. We are looking pretty set up here, guys. Pretty, we're looking pretty awesome. So uh, I think we'll end it there, my friends. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. Return to Moria. Gameplay. All right. You have a great day in Middle Earth, guys. Thanks to these Patreons for their support. If you're ever feeling extra spicy or ever, you know, the means of motivation, if you want to support me on Patreon, links down there. You can check out all the different benefits and fun little stories I have connected to them. And also, subscribe button's there. That's free like share the video leave a comment that really helps the channel out i really appreciate it next episode will be up there for this playlist and over there will be another playlist probably my voiceover series in the lord of the rings online Barukazad kuzad i menu stay happy and have a great day in middle earth my friends i'll see you in the next one